these guys in. All right, so we start sitting nice and tall, straight spine, soft shoulders, and I want you to completely switch off from whatever's going on in your day, whatever you're doing later, and really taking this time as a gift for your body. Slow, deep in breath, deep, full exhales. Stillness, peace, and ease. So tuning in to what's going on, how you're feeling. Noticing any stress, any tension. What parts of your body feels really good? If you're holding any tightness, any injuries, any niggles. And then just taking awareness to your breath. Seeing, can you just slow down that breathing? Long in breath, long, slow exhale. I'm trying to make the breath as smooth, calm, and soft as possible. Tonight we're going to go for our in for four, hold for two, out for four, hold for two breath. And again, if that's not sitting well, if you make up your own counting practice, with the inhale and exhale, it should be the same length, and then add a little pause in if your body, if your body can. So lift the heart, soften the shoulders, lengthen the neck, maybe allowing the eyes to close. And really gifting yourself this time for your body, your breath. Inviting stillness, peace, and ease to where your body needs it most. And when you're ready, begin to inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, we got four more like this, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, inhale, two, three, four, 
hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, last two, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, once more, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, and then returning to your regular breathing, letting go of the counting practice, really setting your intention for this hour of you time, movement, breath, stretching and softening, lengthening and strengthening. And just dropping any thoughts, concerns, distractions, pick them up after class. Throughout your practice tonight, as we begin to lift the heart rate and move the body, keep coming back to the slow, rhythmical breath. And keeping that breath, body awareness throughout your practice. And then really working on sitting a little taller for me. Keep the length through the spine, keep the softness in the shoulders. Chin is powered out to the floor. Around the head, reaching towards the ceiling, your tummy muscles are drawing in. We're going to drop our right ear towards the right shoulder, letting the weight of the head release tightness from your neck. And then gently we come to center and we drop the opposite ear to the opposite shoulder. And slowly we come to center. Now left lift the chin, look right up towards the ceiling. And take it to center, and chin comes down onto your chest, lengthen the back of the neck. And slowly descend. Let the eyes open, arms face each other. We take right over left. And on your in breath, reach and stretch up really high into the fingers. As you exhale, draw those arms down. So, really releasing that shoulder tension with your in breath, reach and stretch a little higher. And as you exhale, invite those arms to come down. And once more, reach and stretch higher into the fingers and slowly and gently soften. And then we uncross the arms, take opposite arm over. Same thing, inhale, reach high into the fingertips. And as you exhale, we draw the arms down. Inhale, reach and stretch. So use the in-breath to help you lift up. And as you exhale, invite those arms down. And once more, lengthen and stretch up high and slowly and gently release. Uncross the arms, place your hands on your knees. Let's go for big shoulder rolls here. And opposite direction. And then hands a little wider than the hips. When you're ready, right arm comes up. So lengthen and reach the ceiling and then side bend. We're gonna hold the side bend and you can really focus on the length between the ribs and the hips. Holding here for three deep breaths. Inhale deeply. Big sigh in your exhale. Two more, inhale deeply and exhale fully. And once more, nice long in breath, deep full exhale. And slowly we float all the way up, allow that arm to come down. Opposite side, begin by reaching high and then we side bend over. Keep the chin up, so we'll do a little bit of length in the chin here. Three breaths, breathe in, exhale fully. Two more, inhaling deeply and exhale fully and once more nice long in breath deep full exhale and slowly roll the body all the way back up amazing interlace fingers in front of you chin to the chest reach and stretch further forward than you think you can so particularly anyone carrying shoulder tension here go for it on these movements create that space and then we sit up tall hands into the heart and again, chin to chest, reach and stretch. So round it out, reaching further forward, reach, stretch, stretch, reach. And then hands come all the way into the heart. 
And once more, chin to chest, stretching and reaching, create that space, lengthen forward. And sitting all the way up. Arms relaxed by your side. You're going to keep your right arm down by the right hip. Lengthen the left arm up and look behind you. So I really want the twist to come from the ribs. So you're reaching back, looking back over the fingertips as far back as you can. Now in this position, inhale deeply here. And as you exhale, bring the ribs forward, come all the way forward and you're reaching the hand that's on the floor with your long slow exhale. And then inhale, extend and reach and lengthen as far back as you can. Exhale, rotate and twist. Trying to get movement into those tight upper bodies. Two more like this. Inhale, lengthen, stretch. Long, long, smooth inhale here. And exhale, we rotate. It's as though you're closing the ribs on your exhale as you come forward. And once more, inhale, reach, stretch, lengthen. Exhale, fully empty the lungs, come all the way forward. And we're gonna hold it here. So you're joining your hands together, you're softening the shoulders, and let the head come down towards the hands. And we're gonna hold it in this position for three breaths. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully, inhaling, long, slow exhale. And once more, big in breath, long, slow exhale. And then roll the body all the way up and release, roll the shoulders. Same thing opposite side. And again, it's this rotation through the ribs and through that thoracic spine is what we're really looking for here with the breath. So opposite arm down by the hip, start by reaching up and then we lengthen back behind you. Turn from the ribs, let the eyes follow the thumb and reach back as far as your body will let you tonight. Inhale deeply here. As you exhale, close it out, bring it all the way forward. Take your hand to meet the other hand on the floor. Inhale deeply, lift, lengthen. Think about expansion and then you reach as far back as you can. And then exhale, we close it out, we roll it forward, soften the shoulders. Two more. Inhale, reach, stretch, lift and lengthen, going as far behind you as you can. And exhale, use your waist, use the exhale to come all the way forward. Get that rotation that we're looking for. And last one, nice big in breath. Lengthen, stretch, reach into those fingers. Deepest exhale you got so far in class. Exhale fully, bring the hands together. Now you're stacking the hands on top of each other, you're softening the shoulders. And we're gonna aim to take the forehead towards the floor. It doesn't matter how low you go, you go to where your body can. If the forehead can rest down on the hands, that's great. If you're somewhere in between, that's perfect too. So three deep breaths, inhaling, exhale fully. Two more, breathe in deeply. Exhale fully, and once more, long in breath, deep, full exhale, and then we slowly roll all the way up, release the shoulders, a little bit of shoulder movement here, and then release. Okay, so from here, let's lengthen both legs out in front of you. So if you know your hamstrings are a little tight, I would take um, a sock, uh, a strap, a scarf, whatever you've got, that might help you out. If your hamstrings are loose, you won't need any of that. You're not warmed up, but inhale, reach into the fingers, and as you exhale, go as far forward as you can. So anyone who's a little bit tighter, it might mean you get your knees, your calves, your ankles, but what I'm looking for is a straight back. back. So you lift from the hips, and then hinge to the point that you can take your toes, or as close to your toes as your body can. Again, this is where your bands would come in if you need a band. Drop the shoulders and just holding here for three deep breaths. Soften the shoulders, soften the neck, gazes towards the knees, focus on the breath in around your mid back area. Soften the shoulders, soften the throat, breathing in deeply and exhale fully. Long, slow, deep in breath and exhale fully. And once more, inhaling and deep, full exhale. And then slowly roll the body all the way up, head last to come up. Now keep the feet really heavy. Imagine I'm physically there holding those ankles down. Don't get them pop up. You're going to sit really tall. You're softening the shoulders. You're lifting up on the pelvic floor and in on the lower belly. So we're going to work on strengthening the tummy muscles, strengthening the abs, but really stabilizing through the center. Take your hands to face each other. 
soften the shoulders and then rotate the palms towards the ceiling. Keeping your heels really heavy, roll back a little bit and hold. Maybe going a little lower and hold. Either staying there, if you go a little lower, we go a little lower. Keep the heels heavy, keep the abs switched on, keep the pelvic floor engaged. You're gonna to inhale, tap your shoulders. As you exhale, you straighten. Inhaling to tap, exhale, straighten. Giving me eight and straighten for seven, straighten. Tummy's tight, neck long, six, straighten, five, straighten. Last four, straighten, three, abs engage the whole time. Two notable chins here. Last one, straighten the arms out, hold it. And imagine you're splashing water. So splash those arms up, keep splashing. Keep the arms straight, squeeze the abs, squeeze the arms. We're going for 10, no double chins, we're adding on 10 more. Nine, eight, smiling faces, seven, looks good, Kira B. Uh, six, holding five, keep splashing, four, three, two, one. Draw the belly in, roll all the way up and into the forward bend. Again, don't be afraid, use the soft belt band if you need to, but everybody together, soften the shoulders. Three breaths, focusing on the back side of the body tonight. Breathing in, exhale fully. Two more, inhale deeply and exhale fully. And once more, long in breath and deep full exhale. And then we slowly roll the body all the way up. Amazing, so let's bend the knees. Feet flat on the floor. You're going to interlace 10 fingers around that right foot and slowly and gently lengthen that leg up. So again, you're just going to where your body can. If you've got little niggles or injuries or tightness or it's your first off back in a while, go slow, go gentle. Drop the shoulders. If your hamstring is tight, there'll be a deep bend in the knees. And those of you coming to me a little bit more regularly, I really want you guys working on that length. And then once you've got that, begin to bend the elbows and clasp them around the calf. So look towards the thumbs, soften the shoulders and keep working little by little on getting the legs straight and eventually then clasping that calf. Gaze is towards the toes, shoulders are soft, lengthen the leg up. Make sure you're not being pulled backwards. So it's like a nice straight body, straight leg, no tightness or tension in those shoulders. You're smiling and lengthening. Tummy muscles nice and tight, holding here. Keep on breathing, keep on lengthening, driving heel away, pointing toes towards you. Okay, so your right leg is up. You're gonna leave your left hand around that right leg. And then we twist and look behind you. If you have a shoulder injury, if you're tight on space, keep the elbow in, that's perfect. If you can lengthen and extend, go for it here. So looking back over the tips of the fingers, keep twisting and opening the body. So the Finger toes, the fingers and the toes are reaching in different directions. So heel and toes pressing one direction. Fingers lengthening behind you. Lovely expansion right across that chest. And then gently come to center. Let's lift that leg. And slowly with control through nice strong tummy muscles, we follow the foot all the way to the floor. Once we hit the floor, we sit up really tall. My left knee is bent. I'm gonna hug my left knee in as close as I can. I sit really tall and I twist I'm going to look right back over that shoulder. So I keep hugging the knee in. My straight leg is flexed. Energy in that leg and I just twist. So twist and breathe. Breathe and twist. Use your eyes to see a new point behind you. Breathing and lengthening. Twisting that body out. Keep breathing. Strong tummy muscles. Rotate the spine. And slowly and gently come back to centre. Lengthen that leg out. Your two legs are out. We're going to stack the hands on top of each other. Super glue your forehead to your hands and elbows right nice and wide. So my armpits are open, my foreheads are with my hands. Similar exercise, but much harder because the hands are now with the forehead. So keep the hands and forehead together, keep the elbows open, the armpits open. Heels heavy in contact with the floor, we roll back a little bit and hold. So neck is long, no double chin, heels on the mat. We may roll a little bit lower and hold. See how that feels? If you've got it, you roll a little lower and hold. So chin is up, neck is long, tummy muscles are switched on. And then we lift a little and we lower. Squeezing and lifting, squeezing and lowering. Eight like this for eight. Squeeze lower. Seven, never separate the hands and the head. Last six. Don't be afraid of shaking, but watch your back pain. Last five, lower. Last four, 
Keep a squeeze on the whole time. Three. Last two. Last one. Lower and hold, holding it here. Then we lengthen out the arms. Splashing. Ten. Nine. Keep smiling. Eight. Notable chin. Seven. Six. Look straight ahead. Five. You've got this, guys. Four. Three. Two. One. Draw the belly in. Come all the way forward. Find your toes. Soften the shoulders. Flex forward and breathe. Deep, full in breaths, long, slow exhales, soften the shoulders, let that head be really heavy. And then slowly round and lengthen up that spine tall again for me. So we're going to bend the knees, feet flat on the floor, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're leading with the left leg. Ten fingers around the left leg, little by little you start to lengthen and press. And again, if your hamstrings are tight, and you stay in a bent knee position, that's perfect as long as you keep working the heel away. Those who have the flexibility, stretch into the leg, soften the shoulders, and keep driving the heel. Again, the foot is flexed, the toes are pointing back towards me, the heel is pressing away, my shoulders are soft, my neck is long, and I just keep trying to find a little bit more length through that leg. So lengthening the leg up, I drop the shoulders, I look towards my big toe, and with each exhale, I just see there's a little bit more length through that leg. Again, watch, you're not getting rounded. You want a nice straight, long spine. Nothing happening in my neck, my shoulders. My neck is soft, long, my chin and jaw are relaxed. I'm just lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. Looking good. And then I'm gonna leave my right hand around that left foot and little by little, slowly and gently, I press the heel away and I rotate. Remember, you need the elbow if you're finding a tightness to the shoulders. If you can open and extend, go for it. So press and drive the heel, point the fingers behind you. Keep driving the heel, pointing the fingers, getting that lovely long rotation. So twist and breathe, breathe and twist. Keep lengthening. Looking right back over those fingers. And then slowly we come to center. Lift the leg, two hands around the leg. And then I gently just follow that leg all the way to the floor. Releasing, rolling all the way up. Hug my right knee in. I squeeze it in my left arm, sit tall and twist like over the shoulder. So you want to continue to hold that knee in, close and against your tummy. And then we twist, look right back over the shoulder. Rotating lower and middle and upper back and then I sign my eyes moving to a new point behind me as I twist and twist go a little deeper and then slowly and gently I come to center I lengthen that leg out right brilliant so if 10 fingers come behind you squeeze the shoulders lovely open heart fingers point towards your bum toes and heels connected the shoulders are squeezed chest open Inhale, lift the butt up, toes to the floor, and head lifts up. So really trying to lift that whole midsection up. Toes working towards the mat, shoulders squeezing together, head looking back behind you. Keep pressing your toes into the mat. Keep that, those butts lifting up a little higher. Let's lift those butts. I want to see a room full of giant belly buttons. Up, 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 up. We let the head go if we can. Keep breathing. Squeeze out the shoulders. Look good. And then slowly coming all the way down. Arms reach forward, little wrist rotation. And then keeping the legs straight and strong, slowly and gently, we're going to roll to the floor. Now, anybody whose tummy muscles are a little bit weak or back is a little bit injured, use the elbows that break as breaks at any stage. So slowly and gently, we roll the body all the way towards the floor. Head comes to the mat. Hands face up, feet fall out. And let's just find a little bit of stillness here for a moment. So soften the tummy. For most of the class, I'm going to have you really engage in the tummy. Here, we get to just let that belly just hang, flop out. And then really focusing on bringing our breath into our tummy. So we're going to inhale, fill throat, chest, tummy. We're going to exhale, empty tummy, chest, throat. So when you're ready, let me big inhale, fill the throat, filling chest. Filling tummy, exhale, emptying tummy, chest, 
throat. Inhaling throat, chest, tummy, exhale tummy, chest, throat. To the inhale pass, filling throat, chest, tummy, emptying tummy, chest, throat. Two more. Inhaling throat, chest, tummy, emptying tummy, chest. Throat and once more. Inhaling throat, chest, big fat bellies all around the room. And exhaling belly, chest, throat. Returning to your regular breath. Slow deep in breaths and deep full exhales. You're going to draw your right knee into your chest. Ten fingers, let's interlace them. Take hold just below the knee. We move the knee to the side to avoid our ribs and then we use the arm strength to draw the knee in towards the armpit. So you're completely avoiding the ribs but you are working digestion, elimination and reproductive systems here. Little by little we're working the knee towards the armpit, getting that pinching feeling, strong arms, use the arm strength here, get a little bit deeper, working a little bit stronger, slow deep in breaths, deep full exhales. And then we're going to curl our upper body up. So our right knee is in. We're going to reach down with the right hand. We're going to take hold of that right foot. My left hand comes to my left thigh. I'm going to flex the foot towards the ceiling. And then I'm going to return my head to the mat. So my right arm is drawing that right knee in towards my armpit, nice and strong. My left leg is just melting into the earth. And I'm using that really strong arm to draw the knee in. Pinching feeling in the hip, brilliant for digestion, elimination, reproduction. We keep working on that arm strength here. Deep full in breaths, long slow exhales. So not a restful position. We want to work nice and deep into the arms, into the hips, into the pelvis. And then I'm going to release my grip on my foot. I'm going to take the right hand inside the right knee. I'm going to use my peace fingers, index and middle finger, tuck onto my right big toe. My left hand is continuing to make contact with my left thigh. And little by little, I press and lengthen that right leg all the way up, high as we can, all the way up, foot is flexed, toes towards the face, and both legs out nice and long. Again, if you're a little bit tighter of hamstring, that's fine, you can have a nice deep bend of the knee, and little by little, class by class, week by week, month, month by month, the leg will uncurl. If you have any little instability or niggles in the lower back, you may want to bend the left knee, that instantly takes the pressure out. And those you're feeling good, injury free, we're going to lengthen both legs, Okay, so as we work on lengthening both legs, next thing we're going to do is we're going to curl up doing a sit-up and we're going to give our knee a nice big kiss. Big kisses for your knee. Brilliant. Head goes back down. Now we're going to slide that left heel in, foot goes flat on the floor, and you're going to cross your right knee over your left. Just cross it as though you were sitting. Switch on the tummy muscles. Use those abs, just draw your knees in towards your chest. We're going to sit up. I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to hold on to my right foot. My right hand, I hold on to my left foot. So my legs are crossed here. I'm holding opposite feet. Then I'm going to place my head on the floor. Now, for some of you, this is absolute torture exactly in this position. If, that's, if this is your torture voice, you stay right where you are. Anybody who's like, woohoo, I love this. Let's take the knees into your chest working heels towards the bum and using arm strength here. So rather than your kneecaps pointed towards the ceiling, your knees are pointing towards your face, both heels working towards your butt cheeks and you're holding in. So go to where you can, slow deep in breaths, deep full exhales. Whatever variation works for you tonight, it's gonna be different for everybody. And then slowly and gently release the feet, uncross the ankles, and just lengthen both legs out, letting both legs just fall out, letting the palms face up, softness in the shoulders, the tips of the fingers, softening from the hips right the way to the heels, and just coming back to that slow, relaxed breathing. Deep, full in breaths and long, slow exhales.
So you should feel that right side about two inches longer than the left. And that blissed out feeling, I want every cell in your body to feel before we leave here tonight. Okay, let's bend the knees, stay flat on the floor. Work your heels in directly under your knees and work the fingers down so they can just about find the heels. So fingers scratching the back of the heels, soften the shoulders. A little rock of the pelvis here and then press the feet into the mat. Pick up lower, middle and upper spine. Let's lift those hips up. So I'm going to keep the hips up really high. Little by little, we're going to engage those glutes, your nice strong bum muscles. Just shouldn't hurt the glutes. We're going to engage them to lift them up here. And then we're going to just run the heels. We lift one heel, then the other, lifting heel, then the other. So it's a lift and tap, lift and tap, lift, lift. Keep the hips up, keep the butt up. Just give me 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, last 12, 11, 10, last 9. This is great for all my runners to prevent ankle injuries for 8, 7, 6. Five, butts up, four, three, two, one, two heels up, two heels down, heels up, heels down. Ten, nine, hips up the whole time, eight, seven, six, really working the arch of the feet, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up, lift a little higher, just hold up, squeeze the hips, now our hamstrings should be feeling it, hold up, 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 press your hands into the floor, lift a little higher. Return the heels, slowly curl the spine down, lengthen out the right leg, draw your left knee into your chest, 10 fingers around the knee, take it to the side and we're working our knee in towards our armpit. So you're working the knee into the armpit, you want to get that pinching feeling in the hip, avoid the ribs, opposite leg is out straight and this time we're working our descending colon, so work in nice and strong, it's affectionately known as wind removing pose so perfect opportunity when you're at home on your own to practice this although i put it into most most classes because it's so good for digestion elimination and reproduction and then slowly and gently we're going to lift the head up we flex the foot left hand comes down taking the left foot foot is flexed so to the foot towards the ceiling right hand comes to the right thigh head goes down now we're using that lovely strong left arm to pull the left knee as close as we can into the armpit as we can. At the same time, we lengthen and stretch the opposite leg out. So we're working knee towards the armpit, opposite leg is straight, shoulders are soft, and we're breathing deep, full in breath, long, slow exhale. Keep the foot flexed, use the arm strength here, pinching feeling in the hip, slow, deep in breath, deep, full exhale. And then we curl head and shoulders up, release your grip on the foot, taking your peace fingers, index and middle finger, hook onto the big toe. Again, we allow the head to come down. This might be your maximum, or you may want to bend that right leg. If you can, you've worked to straighten the legs. So we're straightening the legs in the opposite direction. Keep pressing heel away, keep pointing toes towards you, and breathing. Deep, full in breath, long, slow exhale, keeping our head on the floor. Driving the heel away, point the toes towards you and breathing deep, full in breath, long, slow exhale. And then when you're ready, we're going to curl head and shoulders up. We're going to give our knee a little kiss. So without bending the knee, you're taking your nose towards your knee. Lengthen, 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 drive it in. And then slowly and gently release. And then we're just going to bend the right knee in, letting go of your left foot. Drop the leg over. So nice cross knees here. So the more you can cross the knees nice and tightly here, it's going to help you with the next part. Your feet are heavy and floppy, just nice, gentle cross knees. Switch on the tummy muscles, draw your knees into your belly. Head lifts up. Uh, right hand to left foot. Left hand to right foot. And then we're going to work on pulling our knees towards our butt cheeks. Head goes back on the mat. If you're at your maximum, that's perfect. Anyone who's feeling they have a little bit more in them, take your knees towards your tummy. And work the heels towards your butt, head is on the floor. So I can feel a total difference from one side to the other. That's very normal, but you're going to keep working the arm strength. Again, if, it's, if you find it easy, your knees are coming towards your face and you're making a nice contact with your belly here. If you're already struggling in the first part, stay there. 
but the arm strength must be working nice and hard here to hold you in position. Keep working, healing out those hips. And then release the hands, uncross the ankles. Let's lengthen both legs up. So both legs should be nice and stretchy and long here. A little bit of ankle rotations here, just moving the feet. And then with the legs up, I want you to check in, tune into your lower back. So what's happening in that area, the arch of the, of the lower back? I want you to really think about pressing it into the mat. So ribs going down towards the hips. Keep that connection of the lower back in contact with the mat. And then we're going to take our hands in behind the head. Elbows open. Armpits are nice and open. Elbows wide. And we curl up. You're going to lower the right leg and we're going to twist past the left knee. We're going to lift and come to center. And we twist and reach opposite side and lift to center. Twist and reach and come to center. Twist and reach and center. Giving me eight, center, seven, center, and six. Center, five, center. Last four, slow and controlled here. Last three, tummy's tight. Last two, last one. Come right back to center, hold it here. Now let's take our feet together with the knees out to the side. So you've got a little diamond area between your heels and your pubic bone. This time elbows are in close together. As you exhale, you're going to curl up. Elbows go into the center of that diamond and inhale, release head down. Exhale, curl up. And then we're going to bring the legs and the arms. So bring elbows and knees towards each other and back down. Elbows and knees and back down. So it's a double crunch. Shoulders lift, bum lifts, and everything comes back down. Crunch it up and lower. So eight. Make sure you get a little bit of butt left off here. Seven. Elbows through that diamond. Six, five, use your exhale, four, three, squeezing it out here for me guys, two, how the floor is engaged to get the lift, one, actually we'll do one more, I don't know why, but I just want to do one more, and then bend the knees, hold on to the knees, and just rock side to side. Brilliant. So when you're ready, come on up. How are we feeling? Are we all okay? Thumbs up. Do we feel that last one? Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Neve. Great. Okay, take it onto your hands and knees for me. And we're going to start by just gently moving the hips right and left. So on your hands and knees, I just want you to start by just gently moving the spine. And then pressing your hands into the mat, draw the belly in. Let's arch the spine all the way up. And as you exhale, bum sticks out, eyes look up. And again, we draw the tummy muscles in, pressing in, arching really high. And slowly and gently releasing. And once more, drawing in, press into your hands, arching and lengthening all the way up. And slowly and gently releasing. Come back to your nice flat spine. Place your right hand in the middle of the mat. Use your tummy muscles to step the right foot around. So it's right up, right big toes beside your right baby finger. So it can take 10 steps to get you there. That's okay. You go to where the body can. And then we're going to gently rock forward. And then slowly lengthen back. Again, it's a nice gentle rock forward and slowly back. Each time going a little deeper, rocking forward so you get the knee forward, stretching the groin. And as you gently rock back, it becomes in the hamstring. And when we stay in our forward position, tuck the toes under, the left toes under, lift and lengthen the last left leg back behind you, and a couple of bounces here. So you want a nice long spine, a couple of gentle bounces. We all need to lift those chins up there a little bit, don't let the head collapse, brilliant. And then we stretch the right arm up, we look up towards those right fingers, 
hips are low, arm is reaching. Press the floor away. Brilliant, looks really good, guys. Lots of energy into the fingertips. Stretch the straight leg back. And slowly the arm comes down. Then we drop the back knee down. We're gonna uncurl the back leg so it's flat on the floor. And we slowly start to straighten the front leg and walk back so we're sitting bum on the heel. Okay, now again, if you have knee injuries, this might not work for you. We're just gonna experiment in this position. So I'm sitting on my left heel. My right leg is out straight. I'm gonna inhale, reach into my fingers. And as I exhale, I go as far forward as I can. So again, this could be a belt one, or you get to your knee, your calf, your ankle. Doesn't matter how far you go. Anyone who's got the flexibility, come all the way down, soften the head and breathe. Deep, full in breaths, long, slow exhales. Soften the shoulders, let the head be really heavy and just breathe. So make sure you're just letting go of tightness, tension, stress. Melting the body. And then hands come each side of the front foot. Switch on those tummy muscles. They should be well warmed up. Use your abs to slowly rock forward again. Hands either side of that front foot. We tuck the toes under. And we're going for our first downward dog. But the foot that's forward is going to swing up in the air. So let's lift all the way up. Woo! Should feel a nice bit of relief here. Point the toes, lift the toes really high. Press the floor away. Almost like you're going to splits here. And then we return that foot to the floor. So in your downward dog, you're just bending one leg, then the opposite. Just pedaling out the feet. And then let's take it onto the knees again. And we're going to repeat that to the opposite side. So take your left hand to the center. Slowly and gently that left foot comes forward. And again, just be mindful if you have hip or knee injuries. Really, really slowly in and out of these. If it's feeling good, great, we'll go for all of them. So we're just going to gently rock forwards. And then begin to lengthen back. And again, if your knee that's on the floor, if that's sore, slide something under it. So make yourself comfy. Just rocking forwards and backwards. Picking and choosing what you do that feels good for you. And then we're going to stay in our forward position. We're going to tuck the right toes under this time. Now stay low and stay long. So you don't want to kind of collapse into it. You want the back leg stretching really long behind you driving the heel away and you want the long spine, the chin looking up slightly. When you're ready, either stay in this position or the left arm reaches up, you stack the shoulders and rotate and look towards that top thumb. So looking up, energy in the back heel, lengthening high, stretching up, breathing. A little bit of tummy work here to hold you in place. Stretch a little higher, press a little further into the floor and breathe. Deep full in breaths, long, Slow exhales. And then we return that hand to the floor. Drop your back knee down. Now we're going to come back slowly. Oh, sorry, one of my ears fell out. We're going to come back slowly and we're going to sit on that heel. So slowly and gently, coming all the way back, working eventually to sitting your bum on your heel, sitting up tall to begin. Nice straight upper body, nice long forward leg, or your variation of it. Inhale, reach up into your fingers, and exhale, go forward over those toes. Again, that movement might mean you stop at the knee, the calf, the ankle, wherever you get to is perfect. But surrender into your position, soften the shoulders, let the head come down, and breathe. Inhale deeply. And exhale fully. Long, slow, deep in breath. Long, full exhale. And once more, inhaling deeply. And slow exhale. 
Release your hands, looking forward. So strong tummy muscles, lift up the tummy muscles and then we come forward. Hands flat on the mat. In a moment, we're going to the three-legged lunge. So we tuck the back, or sorry, three-legged dog even. We tuck the back toes under, arms are really strong and when you're ready, up we go. So let the head hang down, point the toes really high, engage your butt, press the floor away and lift up. Tippy toes pointing towards the ceiling, press the hands into the mat, lengthen, 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 and then slowly release the foot to the floor. Regular downward dog here. Imagine I'm pulling you back by the hips. Just breathing deep, full in breaths, so long, slow exhales. Now we're going to bend the knees. We're going to look between the hands. And you're going to step your right foot all the way between those right, in between your hands. Okay, that might be a few steps or some of you will be able to swing it straight up. So your right foot is in the middle of your mat. Your left foot is back behind you. A couple of gentle bounces here. Stack knee over the elbow, thigh parallel to the floor. And then when you're ready, we inhale, reach up. So energy in that back leg. Keep it really long, really strong behind you. Squeeze your butt. And then try and lift the chest and shoulders all the way up. Energy in the back leg. Sink low into the front leg. Holding here. Okay, so your right leg is forward. We're going to take our left elbow to the outside of that right knee. And we're going to turn it into a twist. If you've got the wobbles, you can place your back knee on the floor. If you've got the balance, we lift up and hold. Keep stretching the leg behind you. And if you're looking to challenge your balance, eyes the back elbow. Instantly, it makes it harder. So working elbow against the knee, stretching that straight leg back, holding here, breathing, twisting, rinsing out the spine. Gently, the knee comes down. We undo the arms. Three-legged dog, here we come again. Lift up, woo! Should be a little bit of relief every time we come up with breath dog. And return that foot to the floor. Tummy muscles engage, bend the knees, and we're going to step left foot forward. Now, for some of you, that might be a bit of a shuffle to get it there. But take your time. Take the left foot to the middle of those hands. Line yourself up. So eventually, your knee is over your ankle. Thigh parallel to the floor. A couple of gentle bounces here. And then once you've got that, switch on the butt cheeks. Lift the chest, lift the heart. And look up. So hips sink down nice and low. Shoulders over the hips. Back leg is super strong. Drive the heel back behind you. Lift the heart, fingers towards the ceiling. Front leg down, 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 down. Hold it here, get your balance. Okay, so right arm, take it forward on front of the knee. Join the left hand in prayer. Elbow points towards the ceiling. Keep stretching into that back leg. And then we're going for a little twist here. So from here, look to the back elbow. Challenge your balance. Breathing deep, full in breaths. Long, slow exhales. And then undo your hands. Hands flat either side of the front foot. Three-legged dog again here. All the way up. And slowly and gently return that foot to the floor. Slowly you're going to walk your hands back to your feet. And we're going to take the feet <clears throat> about as wide as your mat. And you're going to sink the hips down. So if you struggle with this, take your feet way wider. If you find it much easier, take the feet in a little bit. But the heels stay down, the chest is up. And we're going to take our hands in prayer in front of our heart. So the harder this is for you, the higher you want to get those heels. Those of you who find it easy, take the feet closer. So we want, all want the butts down low. Looks good, Maraid. Lengthen that chest. Nice, Sinead Mac. And just breathe. Deep, full in breaths. Long, slow exhales. So we're going to drop the butt, holding here, 
Left hand comes to the mat. Right arm reaches up. Look with that right thumb. So follow your gaze with the thumb. Twist and look up. And return that hand to the floor. Opposite side. Lifting up. Keep the heels flat down. Don't let them rise. And slowly coming down. Hands back to prayer. Engage your tummy muscles. Lift up. And we straighten, coming all the way up, toes and heels back together. Amazing. So let's take the weight into the right foot. Left foot goes to the ankle if you're wobbly or the calf or anyone who's got their balance tonight. The heels come to the groin. Standing really tall, tummy muscles are in, hands in prayer. So really lift the heart, soften the shoulders. Holding here. And then inhale, reach and stretch. High up into your fingers, holding and reaching and breathing. Lift the heart, energy to tips the fingers. Standing tall and proud. Hands in prayer above the head, holding here. And slowly hands to prayer in front of the heart. And if the balance is going well for you, you can experiment by closing your eyes and hold in this position for three, two, one. Gently release, absolutely amazing guys. Once you close the eyes, you really feel what's going on in the posture. So opposite leg, really kind of laser focus at one point that's not going to move. Keep the hip to heel connection all the way from the hip down to the heel. Let the foot go to the ankle or the calf, that's perfect. If you're feeling pretty balanced tonight, that heel can come up to the groin, knee is out to the side. The chest is up, the tummy muscles are in, the hands are in prayer and we're holding. So really try to be the tallest person here with the tightest, strongest tummy and super glue that big toe into the mat. Inhale, reach and lift. So keep the lift through the heart, through the chest, tight tummies, reaching tall, holding. Hands in prayer above the head, holding here. And slowly hands to prayer in front of the heart. And again, if you can balance, watch, close your eyes here for me. For three, two, one, and gently release. Amazing. So toes and heels together. You should be towards the back of your mat. Inhale, stretch and reach really high into the fingers. Take hold of your right wrist. So your left hand is holding your right wrist. Reach up really tall. And you're going to draw yourself over towards the left. So your left hand is pulling that right wrist over. Side body stretch here. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Keep your toes and heels squeezing together. And inhale, come to center. Take opposite wrist. Reach really high to begin. And then over we go. So really press the feet into the floor. Keep the chin away from the chest. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And slowly come to center. Allow the arms to come down. Inhale, you reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Walk out into plank. Nice, long, strong body. Holding here for me. Draw the bellies in. Press the floor away. Chin up, everybody. I'm seeing a lot of heads hanging down. Lift those chins. Good. Press up into downward dog. And slowly and gently, you're going to come through to sitting. So we're going to take our left knee to our left wrist. And then our right knee comes to our right wrist. And we just roll over the feet, lengthen both legs out. Two legs come out straight. Woohoo! Brill. Inhale, reach into the fingers. Exhale, fold forward. Just being aware of where the body is now versus when you started your class. Soften the shoulders. We should be finding ourselves a little bit more warmed up, a little bit looser, a little bit easier to get a little bit further. Everybody needs to drop those shoulders. I'm thinking this is melting. Really let yourself melt, 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 melt. And then slowly roll the body all the way up. Keeping the left leg out, take the right heel into the groin, knee is out to the side. Inhale, reach up really tall. Twist over the straight leg and then take it forward. 
So soften the shoulders, let the head come down. Slow the breath down. So we're cooling it down. We're preparing for our final rest. So soften the shoulders and melt. So the word I want you to rethink of is melting, surrendering, lengthening. And slowly roll the body all the way up. Stretch that leg out. Opposite heel comes in. Knee is out to the side. Inhale, reach, twist over the straight leg. And again, we go as far as you can. Knee, calf, ankle. If you can take the toes, you take them. If you can soften the shoulders and fold forward, you go for it. Deep, full in breaths, long, slow exhales. And then slowly roll the body all the way up. Two legs out in front of you. So we're preparing for relaxation now. What we're going to be doing is going to roll back even, roll back even, we're going to lift lower, lift lower, lift lower until we get to the floor. So if you want to pop on your socks or grab your hoodie or have a blankie nearby, get all that ready. And we will together, we'll roll a little back and lift, roll up, up and down a little bit to challenge those tummy muscles before I let you totally melt into the floor. So once you have your blankets close by, if you want socks or hoodies or anything on now, or if you want to knock off the lights, now is your chance. And then when you're ready, now remembering this is an ab exercise, it's not supposed to hurt your backs. It's working on strengthening all the many layers you have in the center of your body. So to do this, you must imagine I'm holding your heels onto the mat. You want to lift up on the pelvic floor and really draw in on the lower belly in particular. And as we're rolling back and up and down, and up and down, and up and down, if your, elbow, if your back starts to hurt, the elbows or your brakes, pop them down and lower yourself to the floor. Otherwise, really heavy heels, arms out, start by sitting really tall, draw up and in and all those muscles in the center of your body, engage that whole core, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Roll back a little bit and hold. You go a little bit lower and hold. A little bit lower and hold. Maybe a little lower and hold. Then we lift a little and lower and lower and lower, and lower, squeeze, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, 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 lower, 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 lift, lower, lift, 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 lower, lift, lower, lift, 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 all the way back up. And now as slowly as you can, really slowly with control, I want you to roll your whole body right down to the mat. The slower you go, the harder you're working. So take your time and melt your bodies deeply into the earth. So really, really well done. Once you make it to the mats, um, take as much time as you need to get as comfy as you want. You can lie on your back, you can lie on your sides. You might want to stay seated, wrap up, cool down, music on, lights on, lights off, whatever it is, it's going to make this nice for you. I'm going to talk you into relaxation and then I will leave you there and I'll send tonight's recording out to you um, in the next hour or so. And then I hope I'll see some of you on. Thursday at 8 or Saturday at 10. But for now, it's all about your rest, your stillness, your peace, and your relaxation. So invite your body to completely soften, relax, and release. Slow, deep in breath and deep, full exhales. Each inhale breath, inhaling peace, and each exhale breath allows your body release. Inhaling peace and exhaling releasing. So spreading softness from your feet. Letting go of your ankles. Softening your calves. Mm -hmm. 
Letting your knees relax. Opening your thighs. Letting go of your hips, your pelvis, and your bum muscles. Softening, relaxing, and releasing your body from the hips to the heels. Relax. Released, surrendering into your mat. And then relaxing and releasing your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. Inviting softness from your shoulders to the tips of your fingers. With each in breath, feeling your chest until you rise, and each time you exhale chest and tummy softening, feeling your belly rise and letting your belly soften, inhaling peace and as you exhale, release. And then letting go of your neck. Softening your jaw, letting go of your cheeks, and fully surrendering your eyes, your eyebrows, your forehead and scalp. Slow, deep in breath. Deep, full exhales. Inviting peace, ease, rest and relaxation to cover your body from the crown of your head, tips of your toes. Absorbing Whatever your body needed most from tonight's class. And we're taking all those good vibrations with you into your evening, through your night, into tomorrow, throughout your week. As you lie in softness and stillness, just remembering your intention for your class tonight, and what motivated you to join us, join me tonight. Really take that to where your body needs it most. In your final few moments of deep rest, stillness, softness, and surrendering. So keeping your attention on your breath, taking as long as you can, really bask in this rest and relaxation. I'm going to leave you here, guys, to lots of love. Thank you so much for spending this hour with me. Hope to see you maybe Thursday at 8 or Saturday morning. Enjoy your little bit of stillness. Thank you so much and mind yourselves. Namaste. Lots of hope to see you soon.